I'm Casey Piku, Administrative Assistant. I've been at the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office for over two years now in different positions with the Information Systems Department and Records. And then I came to be the Administrative Assistant for the Sheriff and Chief Deputy about seven months ago. So my main duties as administrative assistant is scheduling for the sheriff and chief deputy, as well as organizing speaking engagements and events. I also handle a lot of administrative duties for the command staff, including taking minutes during the command staff meeting. Um, I also answer phones and handle internal and external communications. Sometimes people don't realize that as much as they want to talk to the sheriff, there may be somebody else who might be better suited to help them out. So my job is to sort of help them figure that out. You're standing there lying to me, telling me you can't make change for 100. When you've got 50 people sitting in your restaurant, uh, then my food is free. Because anytime you refuse American currency within the borders of the United States, you're refusing to do business up, uh, on our terms in the United States. And uh, I had a grandfather. You know, when, when you're dealing with something as large as Hamilton County, you're going to have everything. Of, I've gotten calls to ask me what the phone number for certain places that has nothing to do with the sheriff's office at all. I told the lady, I said, as far as I know, when I took business law, you have to either check that hundred. She said it may be fake. I said, anything that you get could be fake. We have a very wide range of people that will show up. We have people who have mental issues and they really believe people are out to get them. We have um, a gentleman that calls up pretty on a regular basis, not all the time, but he'll show up every couple of weeks or something like that. He'll call up because people are in his ceiling and they're sending radiation using the satellites. And it sounds so crazy and, and you feel so bad for me because they truly believe it. There's also a particular individual who has run for different political offices and he actually has made national headlines with some of his exuberant philosophies on law enforcement. Um, first of all, you say you believe everyone should carry guns. That's correct. Uh, after reading the Constitution, it says uh, we have the right to bear arms against our government. Right. He'll actually wear a badge, even though he's not a sheriff, and he'll start quoting laws and amendments and things, and, and we'll just, he'll call up and just start going and just talk and talk and talk and talk about this amendment here, and they need to, and the laws here, and, and, and then he'll, sometimes he'll show up and he'll, ha he'll have it all written out, and he'll want to leave that for the sheriff. Uh, this is a quote from your website. Vote for me, and if I win, I will immune you from all state crimes for the rest of your life. <laughs> what does that mean? Okay, so uh, if I commit a crime, I, if I vote for you, I would, I'd have immunity. Well, see, in 1866. When, when, yeah, but that was a long time ago. Like, what happens if I do something today? I mean, he, he's not a harm to himself or anybody else. But he, every time he comes, every time he calls, it's pretty. It's a long-winded conversation if you can't cut him off. So would you put Lindsay Lohan to death if you were the governor of California? <laughs> No. You would not. Okay. Now, <laughs> disappointment? Unless you kill someone, I have no choice. Right. There's a certain level where it's not reality anymore. And so for those people, you know, we really try to get them real help if possible. But there's only so much you can do if they're not a danger to themselves or other people. You have to either check it or you have to take my money. I mean, you can always turn me into the FBI if it turned out to be fake. Okay, well, um, I don't have that information, but let me give you over to our dispatch and then they can help you out. Hold on just a moment. Okay. <laughs> People will come here and they'll want to talk straight to the sheriff. The sheriff is very busy. He has many different engagements, appointments that he's involved in. So Tuesday's probably, Tuesday. Tuesday is available. Tuesday is available. For what? Monday you've got the fourth. And so someone just showing up, it would be a very rare occasion that they would actually be able to street directly with the sheriff. And a lot of times what they don't realize is that it's actually somebody else that can better help them out. I don't think people realize really how much he does. And the same with the chief. The chief is the same way. His schedule's 
varies. He's, he's out a lot doing things in the community or with different departments outside of one of our annexes. Um, he's involved with boards and stuff like that within the community. He's meeting with a mayor, he's meeting with the chief of police, he's meeting with judges or commissioners. And so if he misses one of those meetings, that would be really bad. My job is to make his job easier as much as I can. And that's, that's, what, that's what I do.